the uh, Dragon itself uh, is uh, moving to a point, as you can see in this downlink view from external cameras on the International Space Station, to a point uh, some 350 meters directly below the International Space Station uh, along what is called the radial vector or the R-bar. That's the imaginary line drawn between the space station and the center of the Earth. Dragon now has completed its yaw maneuver. We're expecting it uh, to depart the 350 meter hold point. The next uh, station keeping point would come at 250 meters. Uh, it's about an eight minute transit from 350 meters out to 250 meters out. And again, we'll keep you posted as uh, the SpaceX mission uh, ballistics team in Hawthorne, California continues uh, to compute uh, uh, how much time would be required at the various uh, stopping points, the uh, station keeping points, to see if we can make up time to approach the original grapple time uh, that was 6 a.m. Central, 7 a.m. Eastern. Flying 250 miles uh, over the uh, South Atlantic, uh, we just had a great view of the Dragon uh, cargo craft uh, before uh, losing uh, temporarily our downlink television capability from the International Space Station. Dragon uh, is approaching uh, the 30 meter arrival point, uh, should get there about uh, 20 minutes from now, at which time it'll put the brakes on one final time and permit uh, the flight control teams here in Houston and at SpaceX's control center in Hawthorne, California to take a final look-see at all of uh, Dragon systems before the final go is given to approach inside 30 meters and capture. Dragon continues uh, a flawless approach to its final station keeping point of 30 meters, should arrive there in about eight minutes from now the uh, distance uh, between Dragon and the International Space Station currently calculated at about 63 meters as uh, the station and the SpaceX cargo craft approach the uh, southwest coast of Africa. Dragon and the International Space Station now just 52 meters apart, approaching uh, the coast of Namibia, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. All of Dragon systems continue to operate perfectly, approaching the 30 meter station keeping point some five minutes from now. Dragon now 41 meters away from the International Space Station. Space Ground 2 at 40 meters, I will call the vehicle on camera 3, 1 with port. Dragon uh, will be parked uh, at the Earth-facing port of the Harmony module in a parking space uh, right next to the orbital ATK Cygnus cargo craft that arrived at the station back on March 26, two weeks ago. The Dragon cargo craft uh, launched on Friday afternoon from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida aboard uh, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Entered its uh, preliminary orbit about uh, 10 minutes after launch, deployed its solar arrays, and began uh, the trek toward the International Space Station. Anybody. SpaceX is go for capture. The flight control team here is go for capture. Capture confirmed. 
at 6.23 a.m. Central Time over the Pacific Ocean west of Hawaii. A cornucopia of cargo craft now at the International Space Station. Capture again confirmed at 6.23 a.m. Central Time. At this hour, the Orbit 2 team of flight controllers on console preparing to uh, act uh, in a several step fashion to bolt the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft into place on the Earth facing port of the Harmony module of the International Space Station. You're looking at Dragon as uh, we are just minutes away from the point at which uh, we will be in the ready to latch position. That will uh, be the precursor to the bolting of Dragon in place. Uh, a step, uh, a stair step fashion in which four gangs of four bolts apiece, 16 bolts in all, will be commanded to drive a Dragon into a first stage capture, then a second stage capture to form a hard mate to that uh, port uh, to which Dragon will spend the next month attached to. Operating uh, the uh, station's robotic arm, uh, the robotics officer here in Mission Control is uh, moving uh, very slowly, very carefully. Uh, to uh, ease uh, the Dragon into the ready-to-latch position, as it is called. Once uh, that is accomplished, uh, then uh, we will begin uh, to see the bolting of uh, the Dragon take place. Again, four gangs of four bolts apiece, some 16 bolts uh, that will be uh, commanded to uh, drive uh, the Dragon into a hard mate uh, to the International Space Station. Use the station on two for CBM. All uh, latch capture switches are open, and your go for SSRMS mode to limp. Houston copy. Loading to limp in work. That call by uh, Commander Tim Cobra, indicating that the uh, station's robotic arm will now be placed in the so-called limp mode so that no uncommanded motion of the arm would interfere with the uh, initiation of the bolting of Dragon to the Earth-facing port of the Harmony module. First stage capture now complete. Standing by for second stage capture. Complete. Go for second stage capture. Copy that. Picking up at five decimal two. He's in copies and concurs. Uh, to reconfigure, if you could repeat the command sec sequence in step 5 decimal 2, starting with the com ca command capture to 130 degrees and execute. Okay, I'll start from the top of 5 decimal 2. This is Mission Control Houston, and there is a signature shot that uh, illustrates uh, the cargo vehicle activity that has taken place at the International Space Station on the left, the newly attached SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle that just arrived at the station today. And on the right side of your screen, you're looking uh, with the solar rays, uh, those ultraflex solar rays at the orbital ATK Cygnus cargo craft that arrived on March 26th. So with that, uh, we'll wrap up our coverage for today. Dragon now bolted uh, to the International Space Station, having been captured at 6.23 a.m. Central Time and uh, bolted into place with second stage capture confirmed at 8.57 a.m. Central Time.